In recent years, black people have dominated many of America's most popular sports, ranging from football to gymnastics. But there's one area of athletics that the community is grossly underrepresented in. Winter sports. Whether it's skiing or snowboarding, black people rarely ever make appearances on the ski slopes. Statistics from one industry organization suggest black people make up only 7.3 percent of skiers in the country. Their stereotype is that we don't swim, but maybe it should be that we don't ski. Now there's some organizations that exist slowly, solely to, ch to change that statistic, like the National Brotherhood of Skiers. But one artist thinks sometimes folks just have to see it to believe it, and he might be right. So he's adding some much needed color to a white winter landscape. Lamont Joseph White launched a series of paintings called Skiing in Color. They show black skiers of all ages on the slopes, including several civil rights legends like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks. And joining me now is Lamont Joseph White. Okay, you said this series was inspired by your own experiences as a snowboarder, and I know nothing. I know nothing, Jon Snow. Can you elaborate more on that? Yeah, so after many years of snowboarding, um, you know, I kind of start out snowboarding. And I just love it. I love being in the mountain space. I love the freedom. I love the sort of relinquishing of stresses and just having a great time. Then after a while, you, yeah, you realize that it's part of the norm that there's not a lot of people of color in the mountains. And then after a while, as an artist who needs to express certain bits of sociology going on around me, it's like, hmm, why are there no more, uh, not many people of color on the mountains and what can I do about that? So the intentionality of my work is to kind of put it in your face and have that conversation. Well, I think like, I, I joke that we, we don't <laughs> ski and there are stereotypes that we don't swim. To be clear, black people do everything. It's just often we don't have access to other things. So the, the stereotype about swimming is because we don't have access uh, to pools in our communities at the same rate as other folks. In skiing, I feel like it's the same thing. So talk to me about why you think it is that black people don't see, see skiing as a, as a thing to do. Is it is it because it's cold? What, it, what is it? Is equipment expensive? Yeah. Unpack that for us. Sure. And, and I think there are several reasons. I, I would like to start with, first of all, sometimes in our community, we say black people don't. We don't like when others say black people don't. So I'm one who sort of uh, would push us to never say that because we, we, I think we add to the exclusionary behavior that, that can go on in our society by saying like that we don't do that, right? Um, but like you said, there are many who, who do. There are, um, there are barriers to access. There are cultural barriers to access. There are um, sort of traditional barriers to access. For my family growing up, my parents grew up in um, row houses of Baltimore and Brooklyn, and skiing was nothing, something that never crossed their mind, right? So uh, through their hard work, I was in a community where some people ski. Right. I grew up in a community where several people skied and I got access to this possibility. We never skied and I never skied until I was in my 20s. Right. Um, and that opened the door for me. Right. I think that as black people or, or any people, if we can be brought along to the mountains. Right. If you have a black friend, bring them along. Regardless of who you are. But if you're there, bring them along, because as we diversify the mountains, right, we'll take care of nature. Right. We'll take care of nature that obviously we so sorely need to. So talk to me about this Gay and Color Legacy series. Why did you choose to recreate civil rights heroes like MLK in your artwork? Well, I realize I'm in a privileged position of being able to uh, be on the mountain, you know, just being able to ski. Right. Not everybody has that access. But these are the people who would, again, never have gotten that access or even had it crossed their minds. They're, they were busy building our future, really. Um, but I wanted to bring them to the mountain with me. As I was doing that collection of, of legacy uh, individuals, I realized that Martin Luther King said, I've been to the mountaintop in the middle of doing this series. And I thought, wow, so this is a place, this is a destination. This is a place of achievement, right? And, and that's, that's what's like for me to be on the mountain. That's why I want to bring them along with me, obviously, figuratively, through my work. 
I love that. I want to shout out Kamani on our team, Zerlina, <laughs> um, for for skiing, for being one of those black people who do who does ski. I am yeah. 40, and as I mentioned, I do not ski. I do not snowboard. But my question is, can I do that at 40? Will I get injured? What do you think? <laughs> no, no. Come on out to Park City. Let me know. We have some bunny for you over here. That's who we'll start. Take a lesson. We'll get out and we'll make it happen. Like you, like you spoke about the National Brotherhood of Skiers. You've got a ton of people that are going to surround you. We're going to go to the summit in a couple of weeks in Aspen, and um, you know we'd love to ha love to have you. But um, it's a step by step thing. I would recommend go two three days, right? And then you're going to start to create a comfort. And my guess is you're going to be hooked. All right. Well, I will make an attempt. I really will. I'll hold, I'll, you know, thank you for the invitation. And I am going to, um, on television, tell you that I am going to try. Lamont, Lamont, thank you so much for being here tonight. And please stay safe. Please stay safe, for real, because like, it's dangerous out there on the slopes. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.